Chuck tried to bake a play on it, but the V's come away. An odd man rush. Here's Rego, right circle, delays, backdoor pass, and they score. Going to the front of the net and pushing that home for the V's. And it's a one to nothing game as Rego with the pass, and he finds his man in Matthew Catalaldo, who's able to find the back of the net on the blocker side. Catalaldo finishing off the long sequence of play with the marker and the V strike first to make it a one nothing game. Yeah, great pass, cross ice by Rego, it'll cross to Cataldo, easy tap in on the back door. Juck had gotten stripped of possession just inside of the defense or offensive blue line. He had been out there for about 95 to 100 seconds to start the game and then quickly gets thrown back out there and then he gets stripped and Rego does all the work. Cataldo's just got to drive the back post, put his stick down. one nothing Penticton. And that is that will come loose back out to center. Bouncing puck now will be gathered up by Polak as he makes his way into the offensive zone. Works wide, right circle, scores! Josh Polak, a howitzer past the, glo the glove side of Ingeman, and he's got the first goal of the Saints season on the power play and ties the game, it's 1-1. One of the players to watch here tonight, excellent entry on the, on the zone entry, gets across the blue line, there's three Vs back, but Polak elects to go a little backhand, forehand, gets a step on the outside, of Reinhardt and then just zips this one right up and over the left shoulder of Ingeman. A beautiful shot, excellently placed. And the Saints, one for one on the power play, one shot, one goal. On the right side, the big defender will move it to the middle. Up for that is Jackson Platoni, who will force this back in deep. And Platoni will work it around the boards to the right wing corner. Up the wall, right point now, Biotti. Left wing side, a long shot by Fisher. That was knocked down. Loose puck side of the net, they score. It's Rego at the side of the goal on the blocker's side who found daylight past the Cook and banks it in. And with 7.05 to go in the opening period, Anselmo Rego's got the Vs ahead, 2-1. Rego's got his second point of the season. Quick one-timer shot by Fisher. Caroms off the short side wall on the blocker side of the Cook, and then Rego just jumps all over that little rebound and Unfortunately, DeCook couldn't track that puck quick enough and seal off that right post with his right pad. Peters working the line. Huck cuts to the high slot. Right circle. Takes the shot. He scores! Austin Peters walked it inside the zone and from the right circle finds its way past Ingham and the game's tied. It's 2-2. Peters continues his hot streak. He was the top scorer in the preseason. Finds a little bit of space, a little bit of a seam. Excellent job by Sagan to get right on top of Ingeman. And Peters is able to just sift that one right between the elbow and the blocker on the right side of Ingeman. And it's 2-2, just about at the exact halfway mark of this hockey game. That puck came right to the left wing and an opportunity there for Landon right, but to Cook, a strong right pad save. Back to the blue line, right point, Fisher to the net. That was blocked, given up and an opportunity toward the net. Tipped wide, they score! Right at the side of the net, it's Landon right with 140 to go in the third on a deflected puck on the blocker's side, and the Vs take the late lead and jump ahead 3-2. Saints just could not clear the zone. A couple great blocks by the forwards on the... Penticton V's defenseman, Fisher takes that shot. Great block by Sagan, and then a Karams just to the left side and a quick shot. And the Saints trying a quick chance to the goal to see if they can get a late miracle here in the third period on opening night. Mason and Evers on the faceoff. Draw one by the Saints, but they couldn't get a man to the puck in time, and that will sound the buzzer. This one's over. The late goal by Landon Wright is the winner for Penticton. They win it 3-2 on opening night in a highly entertaining game here in Spruce Grove as the Saints fall just short here in their home opener in 2024.